Yeah, well, I guess you're gonna have lots of time to drive it. You don't mind. Folks, I guess, you don't mind, right, folks? We gotta, we gotta get on with things. We're gonna move it for them. Francis, little nine-year-old again, the blue summer shorts and blue top. Uh, if you see her, get her to a security person, and they'll make sure you get over to mom and dad. Francis, they're waiting for you. Not to worry, sweetheart. She's nine, again, look for blue summer shorts, blue top, bigger than Lawson now. Hey, Rick, Lori wants, the, wants his car down in the grounds. He doesn't, he doesn't want them to take it to uh, Grand Center. He wants it here. What, you don't trust helicopter pilots? Trust helicopter pilots. What's wrong with that sentence? All right. I'll get a radio here. I'll get this. Put it down for you then. See if we can get him to bring it over and put it right over here in front so uh, Lori can drive it over to the parking lot. Park Lori, do you want it right here in front? What do you think, folks? Should we put it down in front for him? Uh, Lori? There you go, Lori. Lori, <laughs> the, the owner vacuum cleaner. Dust that came out of that thing. Would you mind? Oh. Wow. Well, let's watch the Griffin now, why don't we? Since it's out there, this is a really neat helicopter, and I know some of you come out to see helicopters. And not just the jets and the aerobatics, all sorts of aviation for you. Major René Terrier of Sherbrooke, Quebec, uh, is the commanding officer on board. 417 Combat Support Squadron. First officer is Captain E. Rocky Bogolo. A very, very outfit. He's at the controls. Flight Engineer Sergeant Jim McDougall of Barrett, British Columbia. And a SARTEC is Sergeant Tamara Negrick. And she is the first female SARTEC in the Canadian Forces, and uh, we'll have a search and rescue demonstration for you. Here with this wonderful platform, one of the newer pieces of equipment uh, in our inventory, the Griffin helicopter. 417 Combat Support Squadron here at Four Lake, flying the Bell CH-146 Griffin helicopter, first used by the Canadian Air Force in 95. Griffin, uh, the most recent derivative of the famous Bell Huey family of helicopters best known for their extensive participation, I guess, in the Vietnam War. You see the Sartek wearing orange. There she is. She'll repel here in just a few moments. Drop the lines down. That's Tammy Nagra of Nelson, British Columbia, the first Canadian female Sartek to perform a high-speed repel down to the ground, as she would do, exactly as she would do to reach a, an accident site or a crash victim. Down goes the board, and out she goes. She's a SARTEC or a flying paramedic. Get her away, folks. She repels down to the ground, trained in the skills of skydiving and mountain climbing and scuba diving, and of course a medic as well. Canadian SARTECs are among the most highly trained rescue specialists in the world enabling them to assist everybody anywhere at any season, land or sea. Now that downdraft, as you can see, the grass will get, that downdraft can be up to about 60 miles an hour. So the helicopter doesn't loiter over the victim for the accident site. Spins off, giving the shark up the break with the chance of ability to assess the situation, administer some help to someone who may be injured. And assisting uh, Sergeant Negrave is Flight Engineer Sergeant Jim McDougall of Merritt, British Columbia. The Flight Engineer is essentially a flying mechanic whose job it is to keep the helicopter flying and assist the SARTEC and pilots in managing the many variations on board systems of the CH-146. As you can see, the uh, helicopter is capable of sideways flight, backward flight,
pilots can also do pirouettes with this. Uh, there's the uh, engineer on board getting you away, get the way back. One of the most successful and versatile helicopter designs ever produced, the multi-role Griffin helicopter currently employed by the Canadian Forces in peacekeeping operations in Bosnia and in Haiti. In addition to domestic anti-drug interdiction, 417 Squadron, uh, one of only three units of the Canadian Forces that utilizes the Griffin in the search and rescue role, providing base rescue and support to fighter operations in Four Wing, Cold Lake. Grand Prairie, Alberta, and uh, Air Traffic Commander Major René Terrien of Sherbrooke, a commanding officer of 417 Squadron. Major Terrien, Captain Beaumont, uh, demonstrated the unique capabilities now of the helicopter flight. Some high speed passes, some pirouettes, some sideways flight as well. Give you a good look at this 12,000 pounds of moving parts, basically. Helicopters, very complicated flying machines. This one a great platform for search and rescue and lifting.